some secrets need to be kept in the dark. And sometimes, with the really big secrets, you need to keep yourself in the dark. For fear the thing will ooze out of your skin, plop itself into your lap whilst you're sat at school and say, hey. When I was seven, my mum used to buy packets of 10 strawberry splits in the discount store. I rarely remember eating a real meal. I remember licking them, one after the other, until I was so full of ice and sugar I could trace the core of cold right down the middle of me. I was sat on the step with my best friend eating ice lolly. Can't wait for it to end, I said. He didn't know what I meant. When I was 17, I blacked my way through a tenancy agreement by telling them I was 23 and a teaching assistant. My pupils had eclipsed my irises and left everything gray. I hadn't slept for three days. When I was 19, my girlfriend moved in with me. She was encased in ice, but would spit sparks at me without thawing. It seemed I was constantly breathing out smoke, even in the absence of a cigarette, and I didn't know if my insides were frozen or smoldering. Sometimes I'd hold ice cubes in my hands until they melted, fascinated by the way they burned. As I grew, I became obsessed with layers, with silks and merino wool. I'd worship the cloth with my fingers, amazed that things so thin could hold in so much heat. I learned to keep away the cold, embracing strangers under stars, and that dancing makes even the naked warm. These are the pieces of me, the hard, sharp shards that I've hoped to make me. And I stand proud and hiss to the wind. I am a broken thing. I am a broken thing. So on the days I think I'm done trying to sew myself back together, and the only shape my lips can make is you, I curl my head towards my heart and listen to the whisper. You don't have to stay where makes you ill. You don't have to sit if you can't stay still. And these scars, they make us beautiful. Because sometimes I feel I could shake the whole world with a whisper. That when I speak, the air will never be the same. And that my heart is big enough to hold the whole earth. And I know that nothing stays the same except change. When I was 25, I learned how to breathe fire, to stand on stages and to make ice weep. I own more jumpers than I can make use of. But sometimes I'll still walk barefoot through snow, just to watch it dissolve. And I still squeeze ice cubes, fascinated by the way we burn. 